Okay. Hi. My name is Beatrice Black. People call me B for short. Now, of course, my parents name me that because the word Beatrice means joy. And for quite some time, I was a bundle of it. I was born to my parents on a spring day, and I was their only child at that time, and I still am. They call me perfect, really beautiful, everything like that. But after some time, that was all about to change. Oh gosh, I'm like, ah! oh, oh my gosh, I I'm so sorry, I, I didn't mean to. <sighs> Watch where you're going, you clumsy wannabe. <laughs> Who do you think you are? You almost broke one of my horseshoes! Well, uh, my notebook for school would have been ruined if I fell. You, you spilled some of your drink on the floor and- And I that's all you really care about? Ugh, just get out of here, nerd. You don't belong here. Uh, I'm sorry, it, it was just an accident. Go! You be with the niche! Uh, uh, oh. Ugh. And that is why Helen White hates me for the rest of my life. Just kidding. That is why everybody hates me. Since I angered the <clears throat> queen bee of the school back in sixth grade about four years ago, that's when everybody decides to have a grudge against you. It may also be because I'm not that big of a social butterfly. No offense to Lily over there. But it's true. Since that day, I'm always trapped in my own little bubble. A bubble that refuses to pop no matter what sharp thing hits it. In fact, the only thing sharp enough to pop it is my pet cricket. Only thing is, crickets aren't allowed at school. That pretty much just leaves me on my own. Since that day, school means six to seven hours of nightmare for me. Uh, no, the classes are okay, I guess. The standards of society are the problem. Some days, I get pestered with no respect whatsoever. And the faculty doesn't even care. Even if some of the staff are out in the hallways, they're always busy talking to other people about their job or what they have for lunch or something stupid like that. And what happens during their preoccupied periods of time? Opportunities to report jerks and female dogs are missed. Okay, admittedly, I'm a bit too shy to say anything. But not paying attention isn't right. I just wish I knew what was wrong with me. I can't even utter a couple of words without stammering or losing eye contact. Well, let's just hope for the best today. I'm just glad it's Friday, and after that, I have two whole days to spend without Helen. Oh, good morning, dear. Good morning, Mom. Did you sleep well last night? Um, yeah, I guess. Where's Dad? He had to leave early for work. Of course he does. He seems to be doing that a lot now. Beatrice, now listen. Your father works very hard at what he does, and right now he's fitting in more of his time since he got promoted. We can even go on a long vacation this summer. Since when do I have vacation? Even when I'm on breaks from school, I still have homework. And even worse, summer assignments. Just like your dad. Ugh. B? If you keep that grumpy attitude up at me... <sighs> Sorry, Mom. I guess... Well, I guess I'm just not looking forward to going to school today. What? Why not? Well... People at school are going to pester me again today. I just know it. I don't want to look dumb in front of everyone. I have a huge test today in history. But history is one of your best subjects. Did you study? Well, of course. I... I guess I've just been feeling funny. Oh. Butterflies? No, it just... It feels more like I'm gonna pass out. Oh, uh, are you sick? Should I take your temperature? Uh, no mom, not like that. I'm fine. Well, don't worry. Just do your best and you'll be fine. Now, you might want to start eating. We leave in five minutes. Oh, and you'll have to walk home today because me and your father are going to a meeting regarding your father's promotion, okay? Oh, um, okay, Mom. Do my best? 
to the whole school. My best doesn't seem to be good enough to show them up. Have a good day, honey. Thanks. Okay, as long as no one notices me, I'll be home free. Ugh. Ugh, does that really have to be the first thing I see? Well, what she doesn't know is that they'll have to split up when they go up to different colleges. Bye, handsome. What's up, girl? Oh good, Naomi, just in time. You know that girl over there? Who? The dachshund with green eyes that just passed me? Yes, that little bee with an itch. Oh, you mean the girl that toads almost broke one of your horseshoes in sixth grade? That's the one. Ew, she's so ugly with that outfit. I can't stand her right now. You know, I have an idea. Ooh, what is it? Okay, so here's the plan. Good morning, class. Now please get out your textbooks and then we can get started with the assignment right away. Naomi, why are you late? Uh, my locker got stuck while I was trying to get my textbook out. See? Ugh. Very well then, just take a seat. Okay. Hey, did you do it? Yep. During passing period, it won't be long now. <laughs> All right, class. Now, for today's assignment, we will all be working in groups. <gasps> now, <sighs> as a team, you will be comparing and contrasting the characters of... What do I do? Find a group? Ask someone? Let them come to me? What if they say no? Oh. Now, is there anyone that can tell me why that is? B? <gasps> huh? Can you please answer the question? Uh, the answer? Um... No answer. I can't say I don't know. I'll look stupid and people will laugh at me. Why me? Why now? I need to get out of here. Oh, oh come on, move on already. I've been silent for almost a minute. That clearly means I don't know. All right, can anybody help her? Avery? Help me? What kind of question is that? I don't need help. I knew the answer. It just, I just couldn't put it into words. Correct. Now it is time for you to find your groups. If you have any trouble in doing so whatsoever, I'll assign a group for you. Hey, let's be partners. Sure, let's go join that group over there. And of course, no one bothers to ask me to join. Yes, B? Um, may I be excused to the restroom, please? Of course, go ahead. But when you come back, I'll assign a group for you. Great, just what I needed. So embarrassing. Why did the teacher have to call me on from the whole class, including Helen? Then again, I should have been paying attention. 
But she could have just moved on. I just guess I'll have to face facts. I'm not perfect. I can't even speak up or do anything without humiliating myself. With my luck, I'll probably be in a group with- Helen, B will be joining your group. <sighs> my point, exactly. Now get to work. You've lost some time and you need to catch up with your group. Aww, were you afraid to admit your stupidity in English? <sighs> I'm not stupid. What was that? You're mumbling. Shh, she's gonna say something stupid any time now. <laughs> Can you just shut up? Excuse me? Uh, um, well, well, we need to get started on the, the assignment and- Well, how about this? You do all the work for us, and then we'll shut up. Deal? But you still have to do your own work too. It, it's a group assignment. Miss <laughs> Trotsky? Yes, is there a problem here? Um, well, yeah- Yes? There is. She is refusing to cooperate with us. In fact... If you don't mind, I like to record our sessions for brainstorming ideas, and this was the first thing that came up. Can you just shut up? What? That's not true! Ugh, stop lying, B. It's all there on film. <laughs> you know, it hurts working with you sometimes. You can be a real thorn in the rose garden, just waiting to prick someone the first chance you get. But, 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 I, I... B, please try to cooperate. And if I see any more trouble going on, you are getting an hour of detention, understand? Y yes, Miss Trotsky. I hope you learned your lesson with us. And if you try to burn us again, then I will burn you. What? How did you- This is your last chance, loser. Deal or no deal. Deal. Good. Now you better get started. I'll be texting my boyfriend. And I'll be catching up with my Snapcat story. No, this is terrible. They managed to record my awkward silence in class, and now they blackmailed me? I can't believe them. Class dismissed. Best. You're the best, Helen. <laughs> Thank you. I know. Hmm. We still got the video. What are you thinking about now? I think it's about time for the loser to have a chance in the spotlight. Huh? Dang it! My LTE Wi-Fi plan has run out for this month. Oh, great. Looks like I won't have internet till I get home. <laughs> what a freak. I heard her name is Beatrice. Such a 1960s name. Just like her wardrobe. <laughs> huh? Why is everybody talking about me? I heard she tripped over Helen and totally made her mad. Over a stupid notebook? She could have at least just sacrificed it and bought a new one. Then again, she's a nerd. She's probably already married to her books anyway. She's such a nobody. I bet she doesn't even have a Fishbook account. Really? She has like no social life whatsoever. Ugh, she should just like leave the school right now. It's not like anybody wants her around anyway. What? No, don't take it personally. Why would everybody say such mean things about me? Oh no, no, not again. Why is everyone staring?
Do they know something? Oh my gosh, they must all think I'm a freak. I have to get out. Now! Oh, why can't I just suck it up and leave like a normal person? Look, she's doing it again! <laughs> Again! Okay, no time to speculate. <gasps> oh my dog! The nerd was about to go into the boys' room! Ugh, dog, she's so dumb. <laughs> Well, at least this day can't get any worse. Just my luck. What did they mean by again? Now that I finally have Wi-Fi, I can find out what's going on. from Helen. Why would Helen email me? Oh, it's just linked to her Facebook. But still, how did Helen get my email? Is something going on? Better investigate. <gasps> no! The video! They posted it even after I agreed? What the tail is their problem? I hope not that many people saw it. <gasps> Over 2,000 hits? And over 1,200 likes? Practically the whole school must have seen it at least twice. No, this can't be happening. I can't think, I'm out of my mind. I have to get away. All right, here's the last one. down. We'll have a great time here. And it's nice to have a change of scenery. <sighs> I guess there's one thing that won't change. <sighs> it's... Huh? Who was that? She looked upset. Uh, you know, Mom, I think I'll go for a walk down to that park up ahead. <sighs> Alright, but just be back within the hour. I will. Why? Why did I come here? Oh, my parents will be so worried when we get home. Oh, it's not like it matters anyway. Aww. Were you afraid to admit your stupidity in English? She's such a nobody. And if you try to burn us again, then I will burn you. <laughs> what a freak. She's so dumb. <laughs> Just get out of here, nerd. You don't belong here. I'm sorry. It, it was just an accident. Go! You be with the niche! <laughs> hey, um, are you all right? yours to make me upset even more like at school that I don't want to hear whoa, it. Whoa, whoa, It's okay. I don't want to hurt you. I saw you rush past my house in tears and I just want to make sure if you are alright. <laughs> Wait. Did you just move on to 34 Maple Avenue? Where the Pickens couple used to live? Yes, that's it. 
Me and my family just moved here and we just brought in the last box. <laughs> so, you don't really know who I am at school? What? No! If anything, I don't start school till Monday. Speaking of which, do you go to Westford High? Well, yes. It's the only high school nearby this neighborhood. I don't suppose you've seen the video, have you? What video? Like I said, I don't start school till Monday. Oh, uh, my name's Andy, by the way. Um, I'm Beatrice. People call me B. More like the bee with a niche. Uh, who told you that? <sighs> well, I might as well start from the beginning. Ever since I accidentally tripped over Helen White, the so-called most popular girl in the school, back in sixth grade, everybody hates me. I, I don't know why, but a lot of people see me as the nerd. Today, though, it was the absolute worst. I did something that I will always regret, and... I was humiliated in front of the entire school. So, to answer your question, Helen always calls me that, followed by many others. Oh, well, if you don't mind me asking, what happened today? Well, I was deep into my thoughts over my anxiety over a group assignment, and out of the blue, the teacher called me to answer the question that I did not listen to. And I started to feel this panicky feeling. She waited a whole minute before she moved on. Everyone was staring at me. And when I got grouped with Helen and refused to do all the work for her, she blackmailed me. She threatened me that she would post the video of me panicking in the classroom online if I didn't agree. So I did. But being the female dog that she is, she posted it on Fishbook anyway. And now the whole school thinks I'm such a freak. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And you don't even have friends? <laughs> Not one. It's like no one wants to save my life if I was drowning. Not one friend? At all? Well, I did have one friend for four years, since the fourth grade. We told each other everything. She was the sweetest and most kindest girl I've ever met. That's why I came to this spot. This spot, it's where we committed our friendship. But, everything changed one day in 8th grade. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so hilarious! Um, B? Oh, uh, yeah Miranda? Um, can I talk to you in private? Oh, um, okay. What's up? Well... Um, I was just thinking, maybe it's a good idea if we stop hanging out so much. What? What do you mean? We're friends. I know, but maybe perhaps you could hang out with the other girls that you hang out with? Well, I am, and I've been trying, but they just, they don't- Oh, for the love of dog, will you stop following me? Those words came out of her cold and hard. I never heard her say anything like that to anyone. It was like I insulted her or something. To this day, I never forgot what she said to me those moments. I... I... Well... Okay, fine. If that's really what you want. After that, we never spoke again. I sat alone at lunch every day for the rest of the year. And I couldn't even hang out with her friends because she was there. I never asked anyone to be my best friend after that. I didn't want to get hurt like that ever again. But now, I'm the laughing stock of the entire school. Oh, B, please don't cry. I'm sorry. I just... I don't know what to do anymore. I 
can't show my face at that school ever again. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, I know exactly how you feel. What? Back in my old school, I was a nerd, a loser. But people kept making fun of me because I was a jock, when I don't even play sports. People would even take my stuff and stuff me in lockers easily because I had no upper body strength against the other guys. And, well, let's just say things got physical when I recently ended up in a fight. <gasps> oh no. Oh, still hurts. Anyway, things weren't doing that great at school. So that's why me and my parents moved here. I need to get away from all the stress, and it turns out, while I was recovering from my injury in the hospital, I was also diagnosed with a pretty bad form of agoraphobia and a panic disorder. And that explains it because I would start feeling panicky with large groups of people and would start freaking out even when the bullies didn't interact with me. Really? That sounds like me. I start feeling panicky around others and... I always have these nagging thoughts about what people would think about me. Maybe you might have an anxiety disorder too. Me? Well, I'm no doctor or a psychologist, but I know a panic attack when I see one. Panic attacks? When you feel panicky, do you start sweating, hyperventilating, and feel like you can't breathe? Like you're having a heart attack? Actually, yes, that does happen. All of these symptoms, they all seem to make sense. Wow, all this time. And I thought I was crazy. Well, you're not. And if you do have an anxiety disorder, then you're not alone. It's actually a pretty common type of disorder when you live in a society like this one. A high school society, I mean. How do you know all this? Research. The more you know, the easier it is to cope with. Now, how about I take you home? Home? Oh no, my parents. They probably already called the cops to search for me or something. Don't worry, I'll come inside with you and help explain what's been going on. Thanks, Andy. Come on. Oh, we were so worried. I'm so sorry. I, I just panicked and, well, I guess there's a lot of explaining to do. Some female dogs posted an embarrassing video of B online and things got out of hand. What? Who in the world would do such a thing? Some prissy girl named Helen White. Helen, I've heard some things about that girl on Fishbook. Something about her parents being divorced and her suffering with some narcissistic personality disorder. <sighs> Speaking of which, I've been talking with this new guy, Andy, who has some anxiety disorders, and I, I think I might have one too. I mean, all these panicky symptoms I've been having at school since the 6th grade, they all seem to make sense as to why. And now, with the video posted online, it got kind of out of control. Hopey, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Now I understand why you were nervous today for school. What you need is a long break from this video madness. I'll call the school and report that Helen White. The last thing I need is someone picking on my daughter all the time. Uh, don't forget Naomi Williams. That's Helen's best friend. Got it. Perhaps it wouldn't be a bad idea to take you to the doctor either. There we can clarify what you may have and we can all learn from it. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, sweetheart. And thank you. Um, Andy, was it? <laughs> yep, and you're welcome. All right, well, I'll just be in the kitchen making dinner. Thank you so much, Andy. No problem. I know how it feels when your brain decides to control your thoughts. <laughs> Likewise. Would you like to stay for dinner? <laughs> I'd love to. Come on. 
So, my dad called the school and explained everything. The principal made Helen delete the video of me for good, and suspended both her and Naomi for two weeks, while Helen also went to get psychological help for her narcissistic personality. I was also taken out of school for a week, so all the hype with the video cooled down. When Andy arrived at West Point High while I was gone, he made sure that I received the right amount of respect. I guess the whole video situation made his blood boil so much that he made sure no one talked about me ever again. I wonder where B is. Maybe she decided to leave the school for good. Ugh, perfect. Another flea is left from our side. Just so you know, B will be returning to school the following week. And if I catch you talking crap about her again, I will report you to the principal like what happened to Helen. B has suffered enough already, and thanks to many of you, she was diagnosed with social anxiety disorder. Keep that in mind when she returns, and show some empathy and respect for when she does. B has been through a lot, and I'm sure there are many others going through the same thing, like I have. Do you think she can help it? No, because that's how society is, apparently. Oh, uh, we're so sorry. We didn't really know. Yeah? Well, you should. Treat others the way you'd like to be treated. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, it has gotten out of hand. Helen's the one who started it, not us. So let's keep it from getting worse. We need to tell the others. Good idea. Let's go. And it worked. No one talked about the video again after that. And when I returned to school the following week, I finally got the respect I deserved. After Helen and Naomi returned from suspension a week later, they surprisingly just never pestered me again. And as for Miranda, well, if she ever wants to be my friend again after the way she treated me, then it's gonna take a lot more than saying sorry. But Andy's been a really great friend to me. We're still friends to this day, but we'll have to take baby steps if we want to take our friendship to the next level, if you know what I mean. After all, it's high school and we're still trying to find ourselves. Also, while I still suffer with my anxiety disorder at times, I never let it stop me from doing what I love. And this video is one of those things. I find it to be a great outlet to reduce my stress, like, like a video diary. Yeah, that sounds good. If any of you have an anxiety disorder or are dealing with similar issues, you don't have to hold back. If you like, you can just let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to reply and talk to you about it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and maybe I'll do more of these kinds of videos. I mean, if a negative experience could give at least one of you a positive impact, then that's great and I'm glad if this helped you. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, and maybe I'll see you next time. Bye! And upload. Perfect. B, dinner's ready. Coming. Mmm, that was delicious. There's food in the kitchen if you want some. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's seen it so far. One thousand views? Already? Wow, people in school must have tried to find that embarrassing video only to find this one. <laughs> wow, all those likes. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. People are actually commenting. They're so nice. Let's see. Wow, I can actually relate. <laughs> Please make more, you're amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. <sighs> This is great! Looks like there'll be a new video for the Beatrice B channel after all. Maybe I could get Andy to collab with me in a tag video or <gasps> even better, a Q&A video. Ooh, that sounds good.
Anxiety disorders, along with many other mental disorders, are not what people choose to have, and unfortunately, not many people may know about that. I chose to be open about my social anxiety disorder because hiding that small part of who I am only made me lose some friendships, and it's really nothing to be ashamed about. Talking and learning about these disorders can help people become more open-minded about certain situations, and it has definitely saved some of my relationships with my closest friends and family. If you want more information about the types of anxiety disorders that I mentioned in the film, you can click to the links to the resources in the description below. It's good to keep these things in mind, and it can explain a lot if you, a friend, or a family member are experiencing signs and symptoms of anxiety. You can even do research of your own to learn more, too. As for me, YouTube has been a really positive outlet for reducing my stresses in life, and I cannot thank all of you enough for all your positive feedback. Seeing how my videos and their messages give a positive impact for a lot of you actually gives a positive impact on me, too. Your love and support is the strength that encourages me to keep making videos for you guys, and I will always be grateful for that. So, once again, thank you so much for your love and support, and let's continue this positivity. And if you feel comfortable about this topic, if you like, you can write your story in the comments, but only if you feel comfortable. No one's forcing you to make a decision that makes you uncomfortable. But please, be respectful if you wish to reply to other people's stories too. Again, I want to keep the commenting environment on this video as positive as possible, so any hate or disrespectful comments will be deleted. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching this film, because it really does mean a lot. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!